Yeah. 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 Located approximately 13 miles east of Cleveland in Pepper Pike, Ohio. The college was founded by the Ursuline Sisters in 1871 and was the first women's college in Ohio and also one of the first in the United States. Ursuline offers over 30 undergraduate programs and 10 graduate programs. The average credit hours per semester that students take is 15. The average class size is 14. Ursuline is a women's focused college. The student-teacher ratio is 9 to 1 also. In addition, the UC population is around 1,500 students total, including undergraduate and graduate students. Just as there is a big focus on academics at Ursuline College, there is also a big emphasis placed on athletics. Ursuline has 11 sports. Such sports include basketball, bowling, cross-country, golf, lacrosse, softball, swimming and diving, track, volleyball, tennis and soccer. Also, there is over 100 athletes at Arsenal College. High school students often wonder, what is a day like as a student athlete at Arsenal College? Therefore, we have interviewed and followed Arsenal College athlete Leah Leshnik for a day to show you what a day as a student athlete is like at Arsenal College. Right now, I'm here with the head softball coach at Ursuline College, Coach Sue Woodford. Hello, Coach Sue Woodford. Hello there, Dean. Um, I have just a couple of questions to ask you today about the UC softball team, the environment, and the family. What is the biggest difference you've seen in Leah from her freshman to her softball year? Leah uh, came in as a very strong athlete uh, and student. Um, and she came in pretty mature as well. So um, I think the biggest surprise with her from her freshman to sophomore year has been the fact that she got hurt and broke her leg uh, her freshman year. And the way she came back was very, very impressive. So I think I saw, I knew she was determined. I knew she was a hard worker. I didn't know how hard a worker she was. And she recovered very quickly um, and even played ball in the, the summer. Uh, so she returned to the field very quickly and I was surprised at that. So I would say just the, her hard work uh, her mental toughness, her mentality to get back, and I, I think most of all her passion um, was not a, not a big surprise, but to see how intense it was um, was good. So you think that she's added to the elements of the UC softball team? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I Absolutely. Agree. What advice, Coach Woodford, would you give to a prospective student athlete at Arsenal College? A prospective student athlete coming into college, I think, um, should know that college is very intense, but I think in, in a very good way. Uh, classes are more compact than what they're used to in high school. Uh, practice is more intense if they're an athlete uh, than what they've seen in high school. The game schedule is more intense. So I think the key word is intensity. And if you want to be, um, if you want to learn something and you want to compete, I think this is a very good place to be. I agree, I agree. And um, how has your experience at Ursuline College been different to other colleges that you've coached at in the past? Big difference, and a big difference in this way. Um, at other schools that I've been at, uh, I've had to wear more than one hat. At Ursuline College uh, and a D2 program, NCAA Division II program, I am a dedicated coach to my sport. Not only am I uh, other coaches as well, but also my assistant, I, I don't have to share my assistant, my assistant is dedicated to softball. And I think that's a huge plus for our athletes. Excellent. Coach Woodford, what are the strengths you can see in the UC softball team? I think our biggest strength is that we have great people on our team. So they are good natured, which I think is a huge plus because mm -hmm. it keeps you laughing. Um, <laughs> and they get along very well. Uh, they're talented and they're hardworking, and I think those three things um, really make for an enjoyable season. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, along with that, if you want to talk about on the field, I would say um, we're known for our defense, especially, um, and that's holding true this year as well. And do you think that the seniors on the softball team have helped with the freshmen and the sophomores and the juniors to get them on the same level? Yes, our our seniors actually. 
um, play a role in what we call our team families. So each senior heads up a family, so to speak, and guides them along in the process. And just in terms of, you mentioned the family, what are other things that you do as, as a team to create the family atmosphere, both on and off the road? Yeah, I, I think the biggest thing is we, we bring in good people, obviously, who want to get along, who, who are good at um, making relationships and so forth. But we do have a couple things that we do to speed up the process. One of the things we do is a transitions program, which we have our freshmen do their first uh, semester here. And we go through things like um, communication, um, conflict resolution, um, uh, character, different, different issues um, to help them transition from their high school years to their college years. Uh, so that's one. Two, um, I think a number of teams here do team night out, mm -hmm. where teams go out once a month to, together uh, to do some sort of activity just on their own. And the other thing that we do, well, two other things, uh, our fundraising really helps us because we're out a lot with our fundraising <laughs> and we do great activities. We do concerts, we do football games, we do college games, whatever. Um, and those always help to, to bring us together. And then finally, we do a retreat that speeds up the process. I heard about that. <laughs> yes, it, it, it speeds up the process right from the first week, which is great. Coach Woodford, thank you very much for your time this morning. It was great to be with you, AD. Thank you. Erskine College is a member of the Great Midwest Athletic Conference known as the GMAC. The NCAA Division II Great Midwest Athletic Conference earned active status in July 2013. Currently, there are eight teams in the GMAC, which include Ursuline College, Kentucky Wesleyan College, Cedarville University, Salem International University, Alderson Broaddus University, Ohio Valley University, Davis and Elkins College, and Chereka Nazarene University. The GMAC continues to expand. The University of Finley, Hillsdale College, Lake Erie College, Ohio Dominican University, Walsh University, and Malone University will all be full members of the conference by 2017-2018. Ursuline Athletics program is comprised of 11 different sports teams. Currently on the softball team, there are 16 players. The team is led by head coach Sue Woodford and assisted by Grace Mueller. Hi, I'm Deanna. I'm here with Leah today. I just have a few questions for you. How was your transition from high school to college? Um, at first it was really difficult. I wasn't ever really used to being away from home or being out from necessarily under the wing of my parents. So um, it was really different in that sense, but it makes you grow up a lot and you have to become more responsible. And I'm better person for that. Mm -hmm. I would agree. Is it difficult trying to balance academics and sports? It is only because, um, I mean, obviously the athletics make you you're tired, so you're, mm -hmm. you don't really want to do the stuff, but you have to get it done. But I think it's a, I think it's a lot easier to play a sport and be a student because there, you don't have all this free time. You, you have to get things done and you have to manage your time wisely. Right. What tools do you use to balance your time? Um, usually I'll write out a schedule um, of things that I have to get done in that day and I'll mark them off as I go. And then there's like there's an optional list of things if I mm -hmm. have extra time to try and get ahead on. I try and do that. Yeah. Um, do you think there's an advantage of having like a softball field on campus? Like for example, like the track team, we don't have a track on campus, so we have to travel a lot. Right. But do you feel like it's easier just having like the practice facilities you need on campus? Yes, because last year, due to the um, when the weather was bad, um, we had to travel as well, and that took up a lot of our time. And it's also nice having the games and everything on campus because it's a lot easier for our friends and some of the faculty to make it last minute. Or if you didn't know what was going on, you hear the music, you hear the announcements, and maybe you want to come over and check it out. And we always appreciate the support. Yeah. So you mentioned before how being a part of a team helped you on campus. Like in what ways? Like like the family part of it or like having friends or? It's, they are my closest friends. They are my family. I don't know what I would do without them, and it's just a, a built-in support system. And I know that they would do anything for me, and i do anything for them, and it's always nice to know that someone's there for you. Okay. So if you had to pick one day of the week, what would you say would be, like, your busiest day of the week from the, like, time you wake up to 
you go to sleep? Like, what's your, like, schedule during your busiest day? Um, probably Tuesday. Or Tuesdays and Thursdays are bit kind of the same for me. Um, class from, well, you wake up around uh, 8.45, get ready, um, eat breakfast, go to class from 10 to 11.15, um, 11.30 to 2, and then practice usually starts at 2.45. So you have to try and find time to eat lunch, <laughs> which sometimes it doesn't happen. <laughs> um, film, practice homework and then by the time you know it it's it's 10 o'clock <laughs> you don't really have time for much else yeah all right well that's all our questions thanks for your time today and good luck at your game tomorrow thank you for having me